Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. Today we are going to talk about spider mites. So I hate spider mites, but I am still excited about it because I am going to do something. I don't know, I just feel so good about this one. Okay, so I just came back from holidays and I had so many spider mites in my garden. Everything behind me has tons and tons of spider mites. Usually I am pro at spider mites because I have them so many times in my in-house plants, so nothing to worry about. But in the garden, I have got, I, I can say hundreds of plants. So pretty much everywhere there is a spider mite. So usual, my usual self would have done this. I would have taken neem oil, made a spray and keep spraying all my leaves. And I did that on one section as well. And my colocasia actually kind of defoliated with my neem oil spray. Maybe I used a bit too strong because I just wanted to get over and be done with. Then I thought, okay, I, I don't think I can do it with the neem oil this much whole garden. I need to think outside the box. Outside the box, I always had it in my head, but I would never implement it because I am not into bugs. So I'm thinking I'm not going to use rubbing alcohol. Another thing you can use if you have got really small infestation. Actually, you don't even need any of that if you keep on wiping them off and the job is done because as long as you can get rid of all the eggs, which they lay approximately 100 over their life period, which is two to four weeks. Imagine you have 10, 20 or hundreds of them, then multiplying by 100 every week, it becomes a huge number. So I thought I'm not going to use no rubbing alcohol, no neem oil, no insecticide soap. I am just going to let nature take its course. So I was in a bad mood one day and the reason I was in a bad mood, you can see I have cut down six leaves of my insette. My insette is completely defoliated by this attack of spider mites. It's not that just I have spider mites, I have thrips too. So when you have something in the garden, specifically now spider mites, you walk around, you touch the leaf, and now spider might have might gone onto your hand, arm, your clothes. You go in, and now you have dragged it indoors. So all the plants near my door, right from this area, they have spider mites too. Now I have taken spider mites indoors, and I had thrips indoors, which I have brought them outdoors. Again, it's just so easy to happen. Things just come in out. You just don't know. So I decided, okay, I'm not going to just tackle this with normal sprays. Let's go into biological controls. Before I go into biological controls, I'm just going to show you what spider mite looks like and how heavy the infestation is. I mean, I am okay now. The day I just saw it, I was in pretty bad mood. But before I go in there, I just want to say that I have not seen the results of me releasing the biological control. So I will keep uh, an eye on it and see how it goes and I will post another video to see how well my plants are doing and I really hope that it works so let's just dive into it how it all looks this is my insette that's me cutting down you can see how many leaves really I have cut down all around and this is my uh, Cleopatra even that had a not had that has a lot of spider mites I mean they are so hard to notice this one is so easy because I have a hundreds of thousands of them so it's easy to notice so i have got that here then i have got a lot of spider mites up there all these lines in between here are full of webbing and all the new leaves have spider mites too they are pretty much everywhere here to, to my surprise this toxic plant tricinus is the only one which does not have a spider mites maybe because it's toxic even they don't want to touch it and this is my colocasia which was absolutely smothered with spider mites and i did wipe this one off before i decided to go all biological controls i can still see a lot of them and the coolest thing i have seen earlier here today is this egg here uh, right there so this egg is hanging off the leaf now i don't know if it does belong to spider mite or i already have lace wings in the garden and it belongs to them because lace wings they produce a silky thread and then the eggs hang off it but it's only one egg that's kind of worrying me i should have a lot of them so this is my dahlia here you can see the damage every single space you see it has got tons and tons of spider mites and now the worst thing here is a sycamensis so this is sycamensis it looks like a complete goner i don't want to actually touch it it's just um, um pretty bad and this one 
again this new leaf looks much more better but if I just shuffle this one around this one is full of not just spider mites it also have thrips so it has it all everything and it just doesn't stop here that side actually is the safest side I have not spotted many spider mites but there are some this side is completely safe not a single spider mite again this is a, such a giant plant I will never know even if there are few spider mites right now I will only know once there is a heavy infestation and this is my potting station and again I have got a lot of them here I have got sycamances here which is again smothered with the spider mice on the underside here they always come to the underside first before they come to the top once they run out of space so now you can see it's hundreds and hundreds or thousands right there they're pretty bad and my mucifolia isn't doing great it's, it doesn't have a huge uh, infestation but it has got a lot of spider mice actually it's I have to be so much close up to see it so now we are moving on to biological control so I end up buying this product which is really lace lace wing larvae I always struggle to say that so the reason you want larvae because they eat anything moving and if they become adults which will be lace wing with wings they are going to really survive on nectar, pollen, honeydew, things like that. So they are not really useful on that period. But of course they are going to produce eggs. And eggs are going to turn into larvae. And they are going to do the same thing all over again. So if you look at this one, it comes into this kind of husk. And they are all crawling in there. I mean this is a pack of a 500. And the best thing to do is... You don't have to put it on a paper just to start to sprinkle it on top of the leaves so i have done few everywhere so every single leaf i have got few of them and they are so ferocious that if they don't get any food they will end up eating each other so that was the other reason i wanted enough supply in my garden that they can leave each other alone and just can start munching on all the leaves in my garden I mean they looks really tiny but they are really lethal so they have got venom in them and then they suck the juices out of the pass so they, they don't literally eat them but they make them quite disabled I mean they are tiny but they are lethal and I really really hope that I have I mean, spread them into every single plant I can think of I have even done them on my honeysuckle because my honeysuckle is full of aphids and they do munch on aphids as well so I'm just thinking let's kill all the birds with one stone. I did end up buying predatory mites so before I went for lace wing I had such a heavy infestation indoor so I ended up buying this one and this is the scientific name and they all eat thrips eggs not the adult ones and I was thinking I can get rid of the adults myself and these can eat the eggs and I can break the cycle but then I end up buying lace wings as well and I wanted to use one sachet outdoor just to see how it goes and the thing I don't know is if lace wing larvae and predatory mites do they kill each other I have no idea but that's yet to be seen and I am actually really kind of looking forward to seeing positive results I really hope that these are quite positive and uh, yeah I really hope that everything recovers back before we hit winter thank you so much for watching and I will definitely post the update as soon as I get to see good results I'm just going to give it a few weeks and I really hope that it works thank you so much again bye bye